Let's take a look at the different scenario here. Find the area of a surface generated by rotating function y e to the x while x is bounded between 0 and 1 about x axis. So let us recall the formula. The surface area or area of the surface is the integral a to b 2 pi f of x square root of 1 plus the derivative of f to the second power dx. So let us follow the formula s equals to integral 0 to 1, 2 pi e to the x square root of 1 plus the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So you're going to have e to the x to the second power dx. Well, s is equal to the integral 0 to 1, 2 pi e to the x square root of 1 plus e to the x to the second power dx. Well, here you can use u sub, for example. u can be e to the x, and du is e to the x dx. So let's see what happens here. s is the integral 2 pi, and here you have du square root of 1 plus u squared du. Well, remember that to calculate this integral, we can go back to trig substitution. Trig sum. Let us consider, well, u to be tangent theta. And in that case, here you have s equals to the integral 2 pi. And here you have square root of 1 plus tangent theta to the second power. And then we can see that this becomes, and here you have your du, which is the derivative of tangent. Remember that tangent is defined as, if you forget about this, sine theta over cosine theta derivative, which becomes the derivative of sine cosine times cosine. You get cosine squared of theta plus, because the derivative of cosine is negative, negative sine times sine, sine squared theta, divided by cosine theta to the second power, d theta. So du is nothing but 1 over cosine to the second power, d theta, or secant squared theta, d theta. Very good. So, so far we have secant squared of theta, d theta. But note that here you have 1 plus tangent squared which is secant squared. So S becomes the integral 2 pi square root of 1 plus tangent squared, which is secant squared theta times secant to the third theta d theta, which is equal to S is 2 pi secant times secant squared, which is secant to the third theta d theta. Well, from previous examples that we did in the class, this guy is equal to 2 pi times a half secant theta times tangent theta plus ln of absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta. And here your theta ranges between pi over 4 to, well, the value of inverse tangent of E. Very good. So let us do the substitution and compute S. S becomes pi e times square root of 1 plus e squared plus ln of, well, here everything is going to be positive, so you're not really worried about the value here. You can get rid of the absolute value, the ln of e plus square root of 1 plus e squared minus square root of 2 minus ln of square root of 2 plus 1. You can use a calculator to have an approximation for the surface area.